Hey, what is up you guys? I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be installing a quick release steering wheel in my 2017 Nissan 370Z. It's a base version. So far I've done a lot of upgrades to it. I've done the Still Engine 3 intakes, test pipes, full Nvidia, cat back, it's the Gemini version exhaust. I have a short shift kit, oil cooler. I have wheels that have been on order for months so I'm just waiting for those to come in. I'm not gonna say what brand they are, but they're over like 2,000. So they're really good wheels, really nice wheels. Uh, I have the Pilot, Michelin Pilot 4S's. Yeah. I have the 4S tires that are going on those wheels. Um, it's gonna have really aggressive fitment. So I'm going for like super flush, like you won't be able to fit a finger between the fender and the tire. That's really what I'm hoping for. So if you're interested in this build, I do plan on tracking this car. Uh, oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention. I have uh, racing seats I put in, harness bar, harnesses, and stereo system, which it's not really a performance, so I kind of leave it out a lot. Um, yeah, if you look forward to seeing this build and seeing me go on the track and all my pitfalls and pros and cons of driving and like daily driving this sometimes, uh, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram. I'd really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. First thing you're gonna do, if you look here, you're gonna have two little plastic like, screw covers on the side of it. Those are gonna be, it's a security Torx. So you're gonna have to have a special bit for that. So whenever I say security bit like Torx, like it's the safety ones where it has the hole in the center or you gotta buy a special tool to do it because most people don't have them, that's why they do it. And they have the blue Loctite on them, so they might be pretty stiff in there. So one side, So there's like a weird color in there, so I guess just try not to drop them in there because it looks like it would uh, drop off pretty easily. So now your, <laughs> your airbag's gonna come out. And this is the, uh, the part that I was anticipating the least. So I guess uh, here we go. This blows up in my face. I guess I have a broken face. There it goes. So these black things slide up. They just weren't. Okay, there's one. Stage two is needle nose pliers. I don't know, it's kind of a seller's market right now, so a thousand bucks. 100%. All right, guys. Here, give, give me in this. Give me in this. All right. Yeah. I, Boom! <laughs> I pulled out the airbag. What's up? Dude, this is so funny. I'm gonna make an Iron Man suit whenever I become a millionaire because all you guys are gonna like and subscribe to the channel, you know? I'm gonna make an Iron Man suit. This is gonna be the chest for it. And I'm gonna have a secret button. And if I push this button, you know, you already know. All right, so I'm gonna set this outside in the AutoZone parking lot because uh, I don't have enough subscribers to afford a house. So, thank you. Yeah, um, it's just gonna get snagged by a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Next order of business, take off this nut if you want to look over here. Somebody told me it was a 19 millimeter. We're gonna see if they're wired or not. Sorry. Okay, we're gonna see if it is a 19 or internet is liars. That's a 19, Oh, Good thing I brought a spare. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I can just hammer it up. Okay, we got it. When we got it. Happen? Oh damn! When I, I think I was putting my wheels on and I snapped it. I think it, it was on a video too. Oh no no, my coilovers. I think. Either way. Okay. It's like fixed. brakes or clutch. 
Language. Language. Oh. Dude. All right, cut the clips. I know. Please. So we're gonna use an 18 inch breaker bar with a step down. Probably gonna shatter the uh, step down again or bust my windshield trying to take this out. So I'm gonna switch this way. Let's see what happens. Let's see if everyone on the internet is Dude, weak. Let me know if it does it again. Okay, so here we go. 19 millimeter. Let's see if these are actually tight. You think you could hold this or no? Down. Dude, that was so loose. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're that. You're like 20 inch pounds away from <laughs> steering wheel coming off and dying on the freeway. Dude, you know what's funny? People are like complaining about it too. Like, dude, it's so tight. I almost broke. Broke what? Your elbow? Cause you're weak. <laughs> it's not searching anymore. Like the focus. Nah, good. Cool. So after I get that off, so it's like a nut combined with a washer. It's like a, a ring on it. So we'll set that aside, and then you're gonna all-wheel drive. Okay, I don't trust anyone on the internet anymore because they said that's gonna be like glued into place. Okay, okay. So apparently you want this straight up and down. Here's the steering wheel if you wanna look at it. It's pretty sweet, I guess. There you go. All right guys, so you're gonna wanna make sure that rubber piece behind the line on your stud for your like steering, whatever, or this bolts in. Make sure that line's up and down. Make sure the hub, this little dot aligns, everything's lined up so your steering wheel's not gonna be crooked. So for now, since I don't have a steering wheel to like counter my turning, I'm gonna turn it a little bit, tighten a little bit. I think it's tighter than what it was. So it should be a little bit off center just from all this. So this is the complicated part, but it's not that bad. It took me a second. I just had to really think about it. So your quick release, you're just gonna separate it. The piece that stays on, go ahead and take that off. And don't get grease on you from the other piece. So your black terminal, go ahead and put it on the grounding ring. Uh, okay, that's gross. So put all this stuff through here. Like that. So, a few of these kits are different, but whichever your horn is, so my horn is the red wire. You're gonna wanna connect the red wire to the yellow, and then the black wire to the grounding ring. So, that's two grounding rings, I'm just gonna put them both on there, whatever. I don't really, I don't think it matters either way, but make sure it's fully in there so it don't come out ever. I wanna put the cover over the black one because I don't know what that one does. It's just gonna hide it forever. Um, so yeah, black to ground, yellow to horn. Try to make them not hit each other. Okay. So that, that's the yellow hitting the, uh, the ground. So I'm gonna have to put this little rubber cover on it so it doesn't do that. It's a pain, the process is annoying, but eventually it'll be over. I'm gonna have to do this again. What'd you do? Air quotations? Yeah, air quotations, you'll never, ha never 
and to do this again until you have an issue or want to change it. All these things, you're gonna have the, the two prongs. So mine come like this. I've seen other versions, but mine has a fuse in there. So it's basically acting as if, it's trying to not let the airbag light come on. So it's like basically a resistor. So it's taking enough power, saying it's sending it to a component. So black to ground, yellow to horn, and you're just gonna stuff it in there. Uh, try to get these to line up decent. One's higher, one's lower. Let's line those up. Um, and put you, put this, obviously your dot, just line it up with all the other dots. So mine's a little off center just because I was tightening it. And then you're gonna take whatever screws you got. You know, just walk it out. Walk it out. <sighs> all right guys, so this isn't like your wheel, so you don't really have to care that much about it, you know, just slap it on there, call it a day. Alright guys, once you're to this point where you have your short hub installed and you have your bottom section of the quick release, you have the airbags, the prongs in there for resistors on both, you have the ground to the grounding ring, which are these like white pieces, and then uh, your horn wire, in my case it's going to be the red wire to the yellow wire and then um, you'll see here this yellow one is my horn and this one's the ground. Uh, right here you're going to put your yellow wire here and your black wire is going to go here. So obviously there are two male connections. I'm going to change this to a female so I can wire it on there properly. Alright, so if you get your wire strippers and you get enough to put on this uh, female connector, you're gonna come about here with it. Uh, what I like to do is twist them so they don't Right off in different directions. And in the same direction you were twisting it, you can turn this. And then make sure the part that's stripped off is gonna be the part that's making contact. So what I like to do is I like to take off this blue, this is like a protector so you don't ground it on whatever on accident, but I'll put electrical tape on there. This is just so you can see the connection. So you want to make sure you crimp it on the metal spot. And then you want to pull on it, make sure it's not going to come loose at all. And then I'm going to put your horn on this one, the ground on this one. So see if I push it, nothing, and then if I touch it, and then push the button. So it works. You can like soft mount everything up if you're not confident, if you're wired, like it gets kind of confusing because a lot of kits have different colors and you watch different videos and people see other stuff, but. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put tape over that so it doesn't twist sometimes and do that. Every, I'm just gonna put one here too. Just cause why not? And then, now that's it. So now you can put on your sticker, make it look pretty, clean it up, because there's grease in the kit and you probably got some spread other places like around these screws, but all in all, it feels great. I've driven with it. Uh, just make sure your steering wheel's straight. Your first try, you might have it like a tiny bit off. Mine was a tiny bit off, but 
that's how you release it and to put it on uh, say if you're not in perfect orientation to put it on you just literally spin it until it drops in and it's not going anywhere all right guys time for the finishing touch if you get this crooked it's not the end of the world because you can rotate this trim piece inside of here but It's complete. So if you want to have this kit or a quick release steering wheel for your 370, you'll just have to go to a, any website. You can go to NRG, you can go to Z1, uh, whichever you prefer. And you can order a short hub for it. And you can order a quick release mechanism and then the steering wheel itself. They're all going to be pretty separate. Make sure you have the screws for the steering wheel. Make sure you have screws for, they should all come in the kit. But uh, I ordered special screws, I'll show you, for this steering wheel I just wanted something clean I didn't know what they would look like if you just got the ones in the kit but it comes with the center sticker right here it comes with this old plastic trim piece and it's got the sparkle branding here I love how the steering wheel matches my seats it's like a cloth my seats aren't suede or anything they're just a normal like fabric but the white stitching white lettering it goes together really well I really like it super grippy and it makes it feel like a legitimate race car, which is pretty cool. So if you want to do this yourself, you just got to order the hub, quick release, and then the steering wheel. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, I really like the quick release. I love the steering wheel. And if you want to keep up with the build, the car, me, anything, uh, follow the Instagram I'm going to link and you can subscribe to the youtube channel i really appreciate your guys support and it's great seeing where this channel is slowly coming to i'm really pushing towards a thousand subscribers it'd be really cool to try to hit that by like early next year or maybe by the end of the year i'm going to try to go really hard with the editing and thumbnails and everything trying to make this super professional and hope people enjoy it as much as i am so thanks again see you guys next time peace